hello guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I tried recreating um, Kathleen Light's recent video which is the blur pull um, eye makeup tutorial she used different stuff and I don't have those products in my hand so um, I went digging into my makeup cabinet and I tried to find the um, the shades that she used I found her palette and I just used this one color right here for the crease I also used the makeup revolution reloaded neutrals to palette and I use the shade right here I also found this MAC pigment in grape and I also found some colors from my Morphe X Jacqueline Hill palette and I use this color for my brow bone I use this color for my inner corner I use this on my lid and of course this blue shade on my lid also so if you have those colors in your collection um, you don't really have to buy products that youtubers use in their makeup tutorials and also I did not copy the exact way that she did her eye makeup I just rolled with it and used the products that I have so this is not entirely 100% uh, copy of the makeup that she did it's kind of like a version of mine so if you want to see how I got this look just keep watching I already did my brows off-camera and I also primed my eyelids already so let's just get that out of the way and we'll start with the Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette we are just going to use this color right here We are just going to build that color up in our crease until we get the color that we desire. This eyelid is so easy, it just needs a lot of building. It looks complicated, like if you look at it, but it's not really hard, but it just takes a lot of blending, lots of building. And we are going to put that directly to the crease. And then we are going to take that first brush that we used and we are just going to blend those two colors together without an additional color. Just blend very lightly. I'm not putting a lot of um, force blending these colors. 
just barely touching my skin. The next one, we are going to take our pigment. She used her own pigment with Colourpop, but I don't have those products, so I'm going to use what I have. And this is the MAC Pigment in Grape. I just mix that with a little bit of setting spray and we're going to take a flat shader brush and we are going to apply that on our entire lid. And we are going to take our third color, which is this one from the Jaclyn Hill palette. First, we are going to remove some harsh line because as you can see, you can see a line over there. And we are going to kind of um, get rid of that. And then we are going to take the second shade, this one, from the Makeup Revolution. And we are just going to blend some harsh line. And then I would like to get another flat shader brush and then I will use this color right here to put on half the lid. So I think that's about the eye. I'll put some black eyeliner on the waterline. I forgot the brow bone. I'll just use this color right here so that's half of the eye done I will just put on my foundation, concealer, and all that stuff, and I will be right back.
Hello guys, are you still there? So, this time we are going to finish the lower lash line. And I will use a black eyeliner on my waterline first. We will take the first color that we use and we are going to blow that on the lower lash line. And I will just take the MAC pigment that I used and I'm going to wet the brush. We're going to take that brush again and blend, of course. I think I'm going to get that pink shade just a little bit so for my inner corner I'm going to take this since Kathleen has this very bright um, inner corner on her video and for the lips I'm going to use the MAC lipstick in twig And then I will take this uh, Moon Child um, Ultra Glossy Lip from Color Pop, which was made by Kathleen Light. So there you have it guys, that is my version of Kathleen Light's Blur Pull makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoy watching it and I hope that you recreate it also because I want you to realize that makeup is not complicated, especially the eyeshadows. Like, It looks really complicated but it's really not, I swear. Guys, you have to try making it and using the products that you have at home you don't really have to you know buy stuff that they use in YouTube makeup tutorials and if you enjoy watching this video please like the video and subscribe to, to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye